Hello everybody, this is Drew Naylor and welcome to part 6 of my uh, Wii Shop Channel Archive video series. In this video I'm going to be going through the WiiWare section. Maybe I'll be able to go, to, go through the Wii channels as well. Uh, in here we have popular titles, original Wii titles available only here, popular titles, newest editions, search by publisher, search by genre, or search by game title. This looks like it's laid out a little bit differently, so let's go back into Virtual Console. Popular titles, newest editions, category game title. Looks a little bit different. Oh, okay, that's interesting. There's no search by category needed under Vir under uh, WiiWare, WiiWare because everything can just fit right here, so that's nice. Under Popular Titles. Uh, at the top we have Frogger Returns, Family, and then Family Go-Kart Racing, Real Fishing Ocean Challenge, um, and a bunch of others. So here's some Nintendo stuff. Some Nintendo we wear on popular titles, September 29th, 2008. This is an action puzzle game. You can only use that software with the Wii Remote. Wait, what's under the thing at the top? Explore the universe like never before in art style orbit. Uh, or, or, orbient. Take control of gravity and anti gravity to carefully maneuver your small star through 50 stages set in multiple galaxies. Collide with other stars to absorb them and make your own star expand in size or capture the stars in your orbit and have them become your satellites. Space isn't empty though, and you'll have to avoid bumping into obstacles or getting pulled into a black hole. If you feel like relaxing while still being challenged, this is the game for you. Its combination of simple controls, atmospheric sound, and unique environment make for an experience unlike any other. Games in the art style series feature elegant design, polished graphics, and pick up and play controls, creating an experience focused purely on fun an engaging play activity. So there's a lot of stuff here. This um, name, this title, reminds me of Earthbound in the Mother series. There's a lot of stuff. I might download this one. Controller setup. Oh, how to hold it. Oh, and the Wii. Wrist, rest, wrist strap. Oh, I thought it was like... Like PC style stuff. Ugh. So here's the welcome page. So you begin as a small star in the vast universe of Orbient. Take control of gravity and anti-gravity to guide your star through 50 stages. Hmm. So you hold it vertically when playing it. So the pointer is to move the cursor, oh for the menus I assume. Move the camera while orbiting and then move the cursor with the d-pad. Generate anti-gravity or cancel with B. A is generate gravity. Display stage map, scroll with the d-pad with minus. Display the home menu with the home button. Uh, pause and cancel, pause or cancel with the start button. Oh, you point the Wii Remote Controller at the screen and use the cursor to highlight various options. Okay. Hmm. This is interesting.
Oh, you can adjust screen brightness. How to play. Hmm. This is pretty interesting. I never even knew this game existed. I probably won't, um... Probably won't buy this one. I'm just trying to find whatever I want to end up buying. So you can pause it if you want to, and then read it. Um, that seems to be it. Health and safety. Oh. This is very important stuff, actually. I feel bad for anybody who is susceptible to seizures. The, um, PlayStation Move has always, uh, g given me motion sickness if I play it for too long. Uh, and it's all because of that glowing light on the end of the controller. The only time that I've played it is when I was somewhere that I don't like to go. Which is nice that, um that I didn't actually, that it's not at my house, so I don't have to think about it. Oh, we just went over this one. So here's the general inquiries for contacting Nintendo. Let's pretend that page didn't really have any uh, stuff beyond contacting Nintendo, shall we? Yeah. Okay. Oh, wait, there's f there's another Frogger game. Released July twelfth, two thousand twelve. Wow, I get no wonder I didn't know about it. That's pretty recent. Ha. Uh, Frogger had Battle Royale before some of the other games had in 2015 or 2016 or so. Oh, that's cool. You can change the appearance. Neat. Mm. WarioWare DIY Showcase. Doesn't this, like, connect between your DSi or your D... Your DS or DSi and oh, hmm. 
Mm, okay. Ninsoft store. I assume that's a WarioWare thing. Hmm. Interesting. Under newest editions, let's see what's in here. Wait, I just went in here. Did I? Just fine on their own. Carmen, <gasps> the Learning Company. Whoa, I used to play. They, they um, it is called the Learning Company. Uh, I can't remember what it's called, but there were these computer games, point-and-click computer games, where you would, um, you would like figure stuff out. Are there other things from that company? Okay, good. That's These are demos, so you don't pay for them. I was like, okay, I hope that those are not paid. Publisher. Let's go to learning company publisher thing. Wow, there's a lot of stuff here. Capcom. Uh, this is like Mega Man 10 and stuff in Mega Man 9. And some Phoenix Wright games that actually... What they do is they're basically the DS games, but like put onto the same screen or something like that. It's really... Interesting. Game off, they're not great anymore. I mean, they, they do okay, but... They seem to be rather greedy lately. Actually, since like, I don't know, 2013, they've been pretty greedy. The Learning Company is what I'm looking for. Maybe not 2013, but like 2014. He started getting pretty greedy, it seems. Hmm. Anyway, I can't remember what it was called, but like there were games for like fifth grade and I was playing them several years before. Anyway, there were these games that you would for like fifth grade and stuff that you would uh, you would be able to do different stuff and there was one that was set at a theme park an amusement park or something and the first puzzle was a representation of a clown's mouth but like it was a puzzle not a real clown so that was okay it was a door that looked like a clown's mouth it was creepy but i was okay i wasn't too scared by it there were a bunch of others search by genre so we've got, oh, a bunch of demos, action, adventure, fighting, puzzle, racing, RPG, simulation, sports, shooter, board game, strategy, first person shooters, I don't like those, education, arcade, platformer, multiplayer, Nintendo Wi-Fi connection, pay and play, that's interesting, and other, what is other? Oh. Hudson Soft actually made a, a another Adventure Island game? Wow, that's really neat. I never knew this existed. I don't know if this is any good. I, I never heard about it. Wait, shouldn't that be a platformer? Hmm. 
Hmm. There's a bunch of stuff in here. I thought I just saw a 100 point game. Telltale Games, that company kind of closed. Wow. I didn't even know that they... These are separate games. So you'd have to spend... One, two, three, four... Five... Five thousand Wii points to download all of them. That's a lot of money. You know, it's really interesting that they're to actually see the um, Homestar Runner games on the Wii Shop channel because I had heard about them, but I never actually looked at them. I mean, I heard that they existed, but I never actually looked at the... Um, I heard that they existed, but I never looked at the... Uh, oh, this is neat. Aquariums. Ooh. Oh. It's really interesting that, um... It's really interesting that the, um... Those ones existed. So yeah, it's really interesting that they actually have the Homestar Runner games on the Wii Shop channel. So these are just the demos. The demos that are available on the Wii Shop channel. I remember watching the um, Nintendo Channel uh, video on f the Fluidity demo. Like I remember when um, when the game came out and they were uh, doing uh, videos on on the Nintendo Channel on uh, Nintendo Minute. I'm a bit concerned about the source. I hope the uh, source of the rainbow drops are um, um, good. There's a lot of stuff there. Sorry if I went too fast. But anyway, I remember when uh, they were talking about the fluidity demo on um, on um, on Nintendo Minute. That was like one of the first ones. I didn't really watch the video or anything, but yeah. I thought this was Jet Set Radio or something. I was confused. A lot of this stuff, or well, some of the stuff, the programs, I um, can just have open source programs on use that I can use on my computer instead of messing around with a Wii remote, you know. So there's a lot of stuff. Wait, is there a platformer category? Yes, there is a platformer category. Newest, actually, newest editions. What is the newest game? Is it Deer Drive Legends? Teen. Blood Violence. Ugh. Seriously, I... Ugh. Disgusting. 
November 19th, 2013 was the newest when that was released. Um, when was this one released? This is rather bad too. February 28th, November 13th. I would prefer better games to be at the top, but... Um, okay. February 12th, 2008. May 12th, 2008. Um, I'm disgusted. Okay, this one seems to be a little bit less disgusting than the other one. May 12th, 2000, er, yeah, May 12th, 2008. It's the oldest one that's listed on WiiWare. And it's gambling, of course. Ugh. So now we can search by game title. I have no idea what to search. Oh wait, no, that's under channels. Yeah, I have no idea what to search for. Do 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 do. Um, Mario. Um. Perfect. The only WiiWare title for Mario is. Uh. Wait, there's no... Oh, so they took... So they took off the... Thing. Interesting. May 26, 2008. This was really... Oh, you can use the Wii Remote Nunchuck Classic Controller and Classic Controller Pro and the GameCube Controller. Wow. That is really cool. Uh, the doctor is in. Mario takes a break from his adventuring ways and once again dons his stethoscope for a new generation of germ battling mayhem. In addition to the classic mode of using vitamins to exterminate viruses, you'll find two uh, battle modes in an online multiplayer mode where you can hone your skills against players from around the world. Um, feel like challenging a friend who doesn't have Dr. Mario Online RX? Oh, that means prescription, if you didn't know. Then the WiiWare exclusive friend battle demo is just what the doctor ordered. Or maybe you'd like some help taking on those nasty viruses. Try out Virus Buster, where four players can simultaneously move capsules simply by pointing at them with a Wii Remote cursor. Any way you look at it, Dr. Mario Online RX is a prescription for fun that everyone can enjoy. Um, okay, yeah, what popular titles were there? Were there any Zelda games? Nope. Let's look for Nintendo! Aqua space. Art style, art style, art style, art style, art style. Bonsai barber. I assume this, this is like grooming a tree. Barber simulation. Fun. Just because I love cutting hair. Yeah, it's for a tree. Wait, since when is... Since when are trees... Since when does foliage... Well, you know, I guess sometimes foliage does count as fashion to some people. This is a weird... Um, the only thing I can say about this is... Well, it's a Nintendo game. Well, you know, like a Nintendo game, it's, it can be kind of weird. But this is really cool. So instead of... 
So instead of uh, training your brain for minutes a day, you can cut people's hair for minutes a day. Okay. Moving along. Excite Bike World Rally. That's neat. Um, there's quite a few in here. What's this? Oh. Here's some stuff. Action replays. Oh. Not that kind of action replay. Twelve hundred Wii points. Wow. Okay, that's that's twelve dollars. Not bad, but yeah, it's still quite a lot. What's this game? And what do you do with it? No, oh, no. Go back. So you make sure, so you balance it. I read something. Oh, no. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. There's a lot of stuff. This is the primary team. Um, wow, that's it. I'm shocked that there's only that many. Adventure! Oh, good. Okay. So they do have this in adventure. Okay, that makes sense, and not just other. It's good that they don't have to be just in one category or another. That's good. Hmm. Let's see what the popular titles are. Oh yeah, I already went here. Castlevania. Adventure Rebirth. Has this ever been ported to anything else, I wonder? No! Don't go back! Uh, button doesn't update right away. The WiiWare version. Oh, okay, so it's based on the 1989 original uh, Castlevania The Adventure. Is that like the original Castlevania game, I assume? So it's like a remake is what that sounds like. Interesting. Hmm. Well, I guess I should be finishing up this video now. It seems like it was way shorter than almost an hour. Frogger Returns, I've heard this one's not very good. Like, the Wii version is not as good as other versions. You know, I don't... I never really downloaded much WiiWare. 
There's a lot of stuff. Hold on. Oh, I will show the, um... Actually, if it's not too long, I'll show the Magnetica Twist, um, guide. I'll show the Magnetica Twist guide. Okay, now I need to move... This. Um... June 30th, 2008. Title Operations Guide. How long is this? Oh, not bad. Maybe I should just do it in the next one. Actually, no. I'll just... No. Go back. I will go back and go... Next time I'll go over the Wii channels. This is actually... Alongside Virtual Console, this is one of my favorite parts. Oh, also, there's actually a rather interesting game. There's a WarioWare game for... No. For WiiWare, I think. No, I don't think there's a space. I'm trying to do a shift on the W. No, there isn't. Hmm. thought there was a WarioWare. WarioWare Shake It. Guess not. Well, anyway. Now, eventually I'll be editing this hour-long video. But next time, I'll be going over the Wii channels. This is probably my favorite part of the Wii Shop channel other than Virtual Console. So, um, goodbye for now. Wait, oh, my mouse is still in my Nintendo Wii. There we go. It's back.